up in, uh, that have not been counted yet, but we feel very confident with our win so far in every single one of the towns that have reported that we will be re-elected and sent back to Beacon Hill to represent <laughs> being your senator in this campaign has been being able to meet and work with so many hardworking people from across this district. And at this point in time, I'd like to name some of them who have really, really made a difference in our campaign. And I'd like to start with our campaign manager for four elections in a row, Becky Hall! I'd like to say our Chief of Staff, Greg Denton. Our Legislative Director, Dari Afshar. Mike Murphy, who's our Constituent Services Director. I don't see him here. He was at Town Hall a while ago. But Mike Murphy! throughout this entire campaign. Oh, no, no, hold on, we'll get to it. No, throughout this entire campaign, because uh, well, these are the people who are in my office day in and day out on Beacon Hill representing each of you. Becky's not only the campaign manager, but she's been the communications director of my office. We've had amazing, amazing volunteers and staff members in this campaign. First off, I'd like to recognize a person who jumped right into the finance role in our campaign, who we wouldn't be here without her, Catherine Lanzendorfer. <laughs> True guys who literally have spent the last year in our office, every single day, stuffing envelopes, making phone calls, greeting constituents, Bob Locke, Bob Lukowski, and Barry Wood. Now there's been so many more, James Daniel, you know, I could go, I can literally list every single one of you that has been such an influence and such a role in this campaign. This has been a grueling campaign. Five elections, as Mickey Cronin speaks, five elections in 12 months, and I could never have done this without the support and encouragement of my family. sister, my brother-in-law, you guys have been there from the very beginning, and honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here without you and your support and encouragement and allowing me to take a risk when I was 20 years old to run for the town council in Weymouth to believe in me for this entire time, and here we are today. So thank you. You know, I said something a long time ago. We got T.J. Lacey, Bob Conlon, Mike Melise. Um, I don't know if there's more here, but I said something from the very beginning that when we have a, a board, a makeup of 11 different counselors, and we go through two elections, where there's a lot of partisan politics going on, and not one of them endorsed one of my opponents, and all of them came to my side. I think that, that says something about the character and integrity of the way you talk about You know, this, this has been a very long campaign, and I'm sure all of you have felt the drag on from all the stuff that's going on nationally. We try to completely separate ourselves from what's going on nationally and focus on issues, focus on people, understanding that the partisan divide that's going on in Washington, D.C., and at state houses, and capitol buildings across the United States of America is doing nothing but crippling down our middle class and strengthening special interests. So we went to work in a totally different mentality of putting people first, putting public service before politics and putting results before rhetoric. What we've been able to do is secure record local aid for this district, put homeless veterans in houses that they can have a roof over their head. We're going to get back to work. We're going to get back to work tomorrow doing, doing everything that you guys expect and deserve out of somebody who goes to Beacon Hill. 
Not somebody who's going to blow a lot of hot air or do something that's going to piss you off, but rather somebody who's going to go up there and get, provide you the representation you deserve in a no-nonsense, non-partisan matter, which I think is long overdue in this country. <laughs> Honestly, the only other thing that I have left to say is thank you. All of you have meant so much to me during this journey that we've taken over the past year and even beyond that, people who have been there holding the first sign, like Mike Morello, holding the first sign when I was 21 years old running. I mean, th this has been a long, long journey. And it's been something that I believe in because I believe in government. I believe in public service. I believe that when you call my office, if there's somebody here that you know their face, that they know your story and that they can provide you the representation you deserve. Because when you are in trouble or when you have no place left else to turn, you should be able to turn to government and government should be able to say, we can't help you with that. We can solve that problem. We can provide a solution to that issue. And we care about you and all of you. And I truly do. I love you all. Thank you so much.